Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, just doing a quick video today to uh, show you something that I've uh, been using on a wing that I'm rebuilding here. And it's uh, just basically, I guess, a way to join the spar back together. Uh, I had a uh, incident with the uh, top of a tree on a landing with one of my gas planes and I totally destroyed the left wing so I've been rebuilding the wing panel. And uh, I didn't want to rebuild a whole new wing so what I decided to do was to see if I could make a new, uh, add a star, uh, basically put some extra material on the broken off spar and extend the spar back out and rebuild the wing from that. So I was looking for a good joint and uh, to put it on, uh, a good glue joint. And uh, what I've uh, used is called a, I believe it's called a scarf joint in woodworking. And basically you cut the ends of the, uh, the wood at an angle, a long angle, and it's basically just put together with some wood glue. So I'm just gonna um, show you what I've got done there and, uh, and show you how I'm uh, planning to uh, reinforce it. So this is the left wing panel underside that I've been rebuilding and I've got two new pieces of 3 8 square um, wood there for the spar um, and in here is where the damage actually occurred so this is the joint that I was talking about earlier the scarf joint and uh, basically taken the wood and cut it on an angle so to increase the amount of uh, surface area that the glue sees and uh, actually just used uh, carpentry glue, LePage's uh, wood glue to uh, put it together and then clamped it and left it overnight and the way I kind of did this is I had to line everything up so I put the first one in, put the first spar in on the bottom and then I kind of went and rebuilt all these ribs from uh, uh, a scanned copy of the original manual which I then enlarged and printed off and it was a bit of a thing but anyway uh, it seemed to work out okay so I put the bottom spar in, rebuilt all the ribs and then glued in the top spar and so it's kind of been kind of building it up from there so um, what I'm curious about is how strong this is going to be and there's a light ply uh, reinforcement plate that goes, a shear web that goes on the front and the back of this joint and I think what I'm going to do is actually plate this on the top and the bottom with some uh, thin uh, plywood. This is actually the uh, the plywood that I'm planning to use. You can see it's fairly fairly thin. Um, so I'm just going to cut some pieces out of that and basically uh, laminate them across the top. So just some some little rectangular strips. So I'll put that top and bottom, and then the sheeting will cover that. And still debating, I think I may actually put a uh, put a, uh, a diagonal brace of some sort in here and then the whole thing will be all clamped together with epoxied or carpenter glue or something to put it together so uh, that's that front uh, that's the main spar and then in the back there was a joint as well so this was actually broken on the inside here that's the original and then there's a joint right there and there's a short piece I'm just kind of getting out of focus there um, and then it's joined in here so same type of a uh, scarf joint this uh, angle cut that's here just gives a bit more gluing uh, gluing area and uh, I've got to plate this as well with a sheer web on the back so hopefully when it's all put back together that will have enough strength to uh, to keep the wing from uh, from tearing off and uh, I guess um, I'll do what I can to beef it up and the first couple of snap rolls will tell the tale well that's a look at that uh, glue joint that uh, uh, got put into the spar uh, the one thing that I think I might have done differently if I was going to do it again is uh, I actually have both of the um, scarf joints running in the same direction and I think I would have actually reversed one from the other um, if I was to do it again and that's just because there's a um, there's a shear web on the front and a shear web on the back and the way it lines up right now the shear web on one side is going to be holding together the top and bottom spar that are in the say the, the original wing and then the other one on the front is only going to be connected to the surface of the uh, spars that go to the tip. So I think it would have been nicer in my mind anyway to uh, connect, um, to have one joint reverse from the other so that way each shear web would engage one of the old and one of the new uh, spars. So just a little tip there that I might uh, try if I was going to do it again. And uh, partly the reason why I'm going to put those little uh, plates on the top and the bottom of the, uh, the joint. So essentially on the sides of the joint to help reinforce that some more. So uh, anyway, there you go. Um, that's my uh, little video for today. 
hopefully it's of some use to you and uh, certainly if you have any um, any ideas or anything on that uh, post some comments and uh, other than that uh, that's it for now uh, thanks for watching and have a great day